close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to watch, watch the breath at the warmest spot in the body right now. Outside is cold. But you've got some warmth inside. And always make sure that you remember that even though the body may be cold, the mind doesn't have to be cold. The problem is when the mind gets cold, then things get even worse. You sit there thinking just cold, 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 and that makes you colder. So for the time being, think warm. There must be some spot in the body that's warmer than the other spots. Focus your attention there. This helps to remind you that we're not just only on the receiving end of things all the time, that we play a role in shaping them. We're producers as well as consumers. It's so like your mind is a factory. It keeps on churning out pleasure and pain. So you want to ask yourself, what kind of products is your factory creating? Well, try to create pleasure, but sometimes quality control is pretty bad. And sometimes it's awful. Instead of we try to create pleasure, but the pleasure we get is not satisfying and it turns into pain. So you have to look at what you're creating right now. If you're coming from generosity, virtue, and meditation, okay, then you're creating some pleasure, pleasure that's really worthwhile. But even then you have to look at the quality. What's the quality of your virtue? What's the quality of your meditation? Because we can get a little bit of pleasure out of the meditation if you do it a little bit. But if you do it more, and if you pay more attention to it, put more energy into it, you're going to get better results. So right here, while you're focusing on the breath, you can have your quality control person come in and ask, okay, what's the quality of the concentration right now? Right now? What's the quality of the breath? Can some changes be made? Bring things up to standard. And that way you have pleasure not only for yourself, but also for the people around you. Because this factory we're creating, it's not just for our own consumption. Other people get the results of our factory. And we make sure that the factory is sending out good things all the time. Otherwise, if you start sending out bad things, no one's going to trust the factory anymore. So make sure your quality control is in place. And that you've designed the factory so it really does create long-lasting pleasure. Because as the Buddha said, that's the beginning of wisdom, is looking for long-lasting happiness, realizing it has to come from your actions. He said, this is the question that leads to wisdom. What, when I do it, will lead to my long-term welfare and happiness? So notice, long-term, and what will I, what do I do? It's what you do that's going to make all the difference between long-term and short-term. So look at the quality of what you're creating. Like right now, you could be making yourself miserable about the cold and the rain, or you could have a different attitude that the cold and the rain applies just to the body, but not necessarily to the mind. After all, cold isn't a quality of the mind, it's a quality of physical things. And if you have a perception out there, part of the mind keeps saying, cold, 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 okay, that's going to make the mind suffer from all this, but it doesn't have to. Let the cold be in its place and the mind be in its place. Keep them separate. And you can live with it. And then what are you living with? Well, then you're living with what your factory inside has been churning out. So make sure that it's been churning out. Generosity, virtue, meditation. Don't switch to other things like greed, aversion, and delusion. Keep the products good and then keep the quality up. And that way your factory will be good for your own benefit your own long-term long -term welfare and happiness, and that of the world around you.